Hello and welcome. I'm Ruby Juice, and this is my review of the Midwest Horizon map for Farming Simulator 19. This map was created by CBJ Midwest Modding and TX Zars Mapping, and it's a representation of Midwestern Ohio in the United States. I've opened up a game on New Farmer, so you can see the starting buildings and starting equipment if you were to start on that mode. Obviously, some of these things won't be here if you start on either of the harder difficulties, but they're here if you start on the easiest one. So let's take a look around and I'll give you my thoughts on the map. Now this truck doesn't actually come with the starting equipment on this map on New Farmer difficulty. I just bought it for the purposes of getting around for this review. The truck is a Dodge Ram 3500 by Blue Modding and you can also download a fuel tank and toolbox set for this truck that are fully functioning. It's one of my favorite mods so I just thought I'd give a little plug for it here. Now on with the review. So you see you start with the standard farmhouse. Obviously you can sleep there at night. You also have a nice little farm set up here with a barn, some sheds. So let's go take a look. You can open all the doors. So we take a look inside the barn here. Nice hayloft, empty barn. Take a look inside our shed. You can open both doors, give you full access, park your equipment in here. This is a bit of a smaller one, but you can still have lots of space there to park your equipment. We head around back here. As I said, all the gates are openable. All the doors. So great looking barn. I really like the look of this. This appears to be where the cows would be housed. Small grass field here. See if we can't get both gates open here. Now the gates I find are a little bit finicky. At times I'm having difficulty opening both of them. But overall it's really great to have gates that you can open all over the map. You can see a nice red barn off there in the distance. So the map does feel a little bit populated with other farms and other houses. If we take a quick look at the map here, you can see right sort of in the middle there where we are fields 25, 28, and 29 here on what I'll call the home quarter, as we call it where I'm from. So this is where your house is located, your barn, and you've got three fields to start out with on New Farmer. Now this is a 4x map, so it's pretty large. There's 127 fields, and you can see there are some pretty large ones, like field 42 here and field 108. They are huge. And you also have a number of smaller ones. So we start out with a few of the smaller ones. You've got 26 and 27 here are pretty small. Lots of smaller ones dotted around throughout the map, but also some really massive ones and good opportunities you can see here to plow some together and you could create some truly massive fields. So if you're looking for a giant map to play on with lots and lots of fields, this is definitely looking like a good option. So let's go for a little drive and we'll check the map out. So from here, I think we'll head north, and then we'll do a clockwise rotation around the map. Just to give a sense of what it looks like. So I just went by this shed and I thought, why not stop? Let's take a look, see if we can open up the doors. And we can. So even though this isn't in the area we own, you can open up the door. Nice looking shop here. You 
close the door again, hop back in our truck, and we'll get back on our tour. But good to know, it seems like all of the buildings have doors that you can open. And here's yet another farm. Corn cribs there in the back. Small barn. Shed there as well. So the map definitely feels a little bit lived in. See here some other houses. It's a great balance, I think, of having some houses and farms and open spaces. Trees as well. Looks like if you wanted to get into forestry, you'd have no trouble at all. We see here some more sheds, barns, houses. So I think they've done a really nice job of putting placeables all around the map here. Giving us some buildings to work with. You could really choose to build a farm wherever you wanted. You wouldn't have to stick to that home quarter that they've given you. You see here, just open road for miles. Lots and lots of space. Big open fields. So we'll head south. You see here, we've got a fairly large farm up here on the right. Looking like a really nice place to start out an operation as well. It's a pretty massive shed right there. Let's go take a quick look at this drive shed and these other buildings here. So another similar looking barn to the one that we've got. Got a house here. Great looking house. Nice silo. And then multiple sheds by the looks of things. Yeah, that's a nice large drive shed there. A pole barn here. So lots more space to store equipment in there. Now, as I mentioned, I'm having a bit of trouble opening both doors, but I think it's just a matter of knowing where to position yourself. This is quite the shed, though. Great to see that it has doors that open at both ends. So you could just keep those doors open if you wanted to, really. Have lots of space. Get out to your fields here. Here's yet another shed with lots of options. You've got doors on either end, plus the overhead door there. So like I said, I think it's it's really nice that, you know, you've got multiple options for where to start a farm. Lots of big fields, so lots to choose from. They're not all square. Got some curves, some jagged edges. I have seen a few creeks running along throughout the map as well. So here we come up on a creek right now. So there, you know, there are some nice features of the map as well. Make it feel real. And I do have traffic turned on. You don't see a whole lot of traffic. There has been a little bit, which is probably accurate as well. Which is kind of nice. Makes me feel like I don't necessarily need to turn off the traffic. And it's nice to see some areas of trees and bush mixed in along with the fields. So you see up ahead, we've got the shop up there on our left. It's labeled as a Case IH dealership you'll see as you get a little bit closer. And we'll take a quick look here at the equipment that you start out with. So if you start on New Farmer, you'll start out with a John Deere T560i, a corn header, and 
serial header. We've got a 7270R. And the small Kinsey grain cart cultivator. Relatively decent sized horse seeder. Then you have an 8400R. Pickup truck. The Hulk, I believe that one's called. It's the least powerful of the Lizard branded semi trucks. A Wilson pace setter and then a Kuhn fertilizer spreader. So that's your starting equipment if you start the game on New Farmer on Midwest Horizon. So you've got a pretty large shop here, again branded as a Case IH dealership. Now if you want to customize your vehicles or sell them, you need to come to this door, open it up, and then drive in here to this point. And you do have the ability to just drive right on through and out the other side. So there aren't a great number of cell points on this map. You see Mid-Airy. I assume it's a play on uh, Midwest, so mid airy clearly where you'll sell your milk. We've got the gas station here, and the gas station is branded as a Casey's. Now, not being an American, I don't know if that's a well-known brand or just something entirely random. And you see this is a bit of a complex for selling livestock goods. So you've got mid-wools, mid-range eggs, and mid-cotco. Now mid-cotco is where you'll sell your cotton. We'll continue on our clockwise run, driving past the gas station once again. We'll take a quick tour in here. This is one of the grain cell points. You see you've got weigh stations for weighing in and out. Back there you've got samplers. So clearly trying to be fairly realistic. So you can weigh in and out. And then you can take your trucks through here. Sell your grain. and then be off again. And so that one is called the Horizon Co-op. Nice large true-to-life grain bins. Feeling like a real American style grain elevator for sure. Once again back on the road away from civilization so to speak. A little bit more traffic on the road here. Another little farm could definitely use as another starting point. I'm getting the sense that this would be an excellent multiplayer map. Lots of different areas to set up your own farm. Work from different corners of the map perhaps or something like that. A little bit of overland flooding here in a low spot on the road. That's pretty neat. See another farm there down to the left. We'll keep heading west until we get to the far corner of the map and then we'll head south again just to go check out the animal dealer and the other grain cell point. So clearly on this map you're going to need trucks if you want to go sell your grain because it could be quite the long haul from your home quarter or wherever you decide to set up shop down to the cell points. And again, lots of bush areas and also wind breaks. You do see the occasional line of trees that appear like they're planted as a windbreak. So again, that's pretty realistic to me. So we'll take a quick jaunt south here. Go check out the other grain cell point and the cattle sale location. You can see the grain cell point there off in the distance. Again, seems quite realistic to me. 
You, know, you can see it from far away across the flat ground. Pretty serious looking bins and an elevator system here. This one has a single way in, way out. And then you can head straight in here, it looks like, to sell your crops. And there are the bins. You can hear the elevator moving. And they've even got some shed space here if you do want to store some equipment. Some old rusty fuel tanks. We'll head just a little bit further south now and on to where you sell your livestock. My mistake. The livestock sale point is actually over with the livestock dealer, which makes a lot of sense. Buy and sell at the same location, like an auction mart. So we'll jaunt over there and check that place out. So here we are at the livestock dealer. You see here, got areas to buy and sell. Cattle shoots. Got a Quonset there with some round bales in it, just for authenticity. And another barn over here. We can take a quick little look inside here. So yeah, clearly designed as an auction ring. See the cows in the ring there? Flag, the bleachers for people buying their cattle. Nice little touch for sure. I also like the sign here. So we'll head back north and then we'll wrap up the tour back at our home quarter. So let's check out the northwest corner of this map. So in terms of performance, you can see there's definitely lots of pop in and I don't have my level of detail in the distance turned up too high, but I am getting you know, anywhere between 40 and 60 FPS, though for the most part, right now at least, it is hovering around 55 to 60, which is great. I'm sure if I got a bunch more equipment on the map and started doing some things that would drop a little bit, but for a 4X map, I'm pretty happy with that. I don't have a beastly rig. see a few more houses dotting the landscape. There are some rolling hills, some really flat areas, but some rolling hills. Again, another creek here. So I think they've done a really nice job of adding some landscape features to help break things up, but also to make sure it still has that authentic Midwestern Ohio feel. We'll take a right here, head east, and then head back south to our farm. So definitely the focus of this map, I would wager, is crop farming, pure and simple. Obviously lots of space to build yourself an extensive livestock farm if you do want to do that as well. But to start out, it seems as though crops would be the main focus. One thing you may also notice is down in the mini-map there you can see CR203. I assume that stands for County Road. So a little bit of authenticity there in the mini-map as well. Love seeing those little touches from the modders that kind of just help give it that little bit more realism. And here we are back at home our full jog round the map complete. Lots of room in the yard here to turn the truck around. And that'll be that. So all in all, I really like Midwest Horizon. I think it's a great 4X map. Seems to run well. Lots of landscape features. Lots of really neat areas for you to build a farm if you want build some livestock capacity. You could play multiplayer. You could do all kinds of things with this map. So I really like the building styles. 
ultimately just a really great job by CVJ Midwest and TXR Mapping. Thank you so much for watching this map review. Stay tuned for more mod reviews and let's plays on my channel. And take care.